As we age, the electrical pulses that keep our heart beating normally can start to slow down, causing our heart rates to slow or even take long pauses in between beats. Well, traditionally, surgeons implant a pacemaker into the chest, but now they're testing an experimental device designed to eliminate major surgery and still keep the heart on track. Here we go. 73-year-old Tom Brubaker checks his blood pressure, heart rate, and pulse several times a day. Oh, geez, this is high. It tells me that I'm in AFib. Atrial fibrillation means Tom's heart is pausing, so a miniature device like this is about to automatically put his heart back in rhythm. In May, surgeons implanted a leadless mini pacemaker in Tom's heart as part of a clinical trial. The device is so small, we're able to implant it via the femoral vein, so a large vein in the leg, um, into, the, into the right ventricle of the heart. Four tines on the tip of the pacemaker hook into the heart muscle. If the heart is out of rhythm, the device automatically generates an electrical pulse. Unlike a traditional pacemaker, there are no wires needed. The leadless pacemaker eliminates what traditionally has been the weakest link in the pacemaker system, which is the wire. I've said to people, you know, <clears throat> oh, I just got a new pacemaker. Oh, did you? Yes. I said it was put in my heart. Oh, okay. What? Since he didn't need a large incision, Tom was back on his feet quickly. Look at the beautiful clouds. And happy to spend a sunny day outdoors.